A toxic algae bloom is killing hundreds of marine animals, including an unprecedented number of dolphins along our coast. This is the fourth year in a row of this toxic bloom, and experts say this is the worst one yet. As Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter explains, researchers are sounding the alarm. It looks like the ocean is on fire. All of the red here on this map from Southern California Coastal Ocean Observing System shows the amount of domoic acid at the center of the toxic algae bloom now engulfing all of our coast here and killing a growing number of animals. Oh no, this poor baby. It's a heartbreaking scene playing on repeat all along the Southern California coast as dozens of dolphins are dying due to the toxic algae bloom now stretching from San Diego to San Luis Obispo. It's the worst we've ever seen here in Southern California uh, on many different fronts, but dolphin strandings, it's unprecedented. This is how we love to see the treasured creatures in massive stampedes, but in the last week, there have been more than 50 dead and dying dolphins found along the LA County coast, 16 in San Diego on Sunday alone. It has really been consistently severe. I mean, the number of animals coming up on the beaches, either with seizures or dead or dying, uh, has continued at a pretty high rate. Sea lions are traditionally the main victims of a toxic algae bloom, which can cause them to turn aggressive, attacking beachgoers. But now it's moving further up the food chain. Researchers say the minke whale found in the port of Long Beach and a young gray whale in Huntington Beach both died due to domoic acid toxicity. It is a natural phenomenon that happens because of offshore winds, cold water upwelling, but it can be fed and uh, sort of put on steroids by the things that we're doing. Debris from the wildfires and fertilizer runoff helping to fuel the toxic algae, which is eaten by small fish, which are then eaten by marine mammals and birds, causing a potentially deadly toxic overdose. While sea lions and birds can be saved, it is 100% fatal for dolphins. We know these populations have, are resilient and strong and, and can bounce back from things like this. At this point, experts say they see little hope of immediate relief given how widespread, as you can see, and well-fed the algae bloom is. Leanne Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News.